My eyes are puffy? The star of Girl World? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. Cokehead, crackhead, cokehead, crackhead. Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? Good morning. How is everyone doing? Nice to see you so early. I hope you had a good night last night, everybody. I just want to eat. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Holy shit. Are you guys good? Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. The best laughing girl world. Hey, Mandy. What up? What up? Hey, Shannon. Kaz D. Mayor Bear. Hi, guys. I know I don't normally call out names like that in the chat. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Happy noon, indeed, noon East Coast time anyway. Um, listen, we're going to do a little crackhead Olympics. I know we were going to do it on the Twitch. I had a bit of a meltdown this morning. I got an email that set me off in a big way. And I was like, fuck Twitch. We are going live on YouTube. I'm going to call this motherfucker out. I'm going to take out all my rage of the day on this motherfucker, this fucking email. And since then, I have calmed down and talked myself off the ledge. <laughs> but here we are on YouTube anyway, because I had already scheduled it. Anywho, we continue on with the telling of the retelling of the Crackhead Olympics in chronological order. Where we first left off uh, was the magic show, as we all remember. Mm -hmm. So what we're about to start with is the morning after the magic show. So the, mor the, the magic show happens. She ends the stream. She spends the night getting fucked up with cokies and then comes live. Now, remember, she slipped. She showed us the face. Uh, he's not happy because of her. We've seen the composite sketch. We know his name. We've now accidentally on purpose seen the freaking uh, face, you know. You got us all wondering about this email. I'm just I'm not going to call out the person. All right in the way I was going to. I'm just going to say, if you send someone an email, don't accept that, uh, don't expect them or demand that they respond to you within your time frame. I started yesterday's stream, if you remember, uh, telling you guys that I'm, I'm, I was really, really, really fucking struggling yesterday. And this person not only didn't like the, uh, the time of a response of an email, but then also apparently wrote something in our chat yesterday and I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And I got shit for that. Ooh. And the whole reason that they had emailed me in the first place was to ask me for a favor. <laughs> so you're asking me for a favor. I didn't respond to your email fast enough for your liking. You come in the chat craving attention yesterday. I genuinely just didn't see the message fly by. And you angry email me this morning to give me shit for the email uh, not coming fast enough for your liking and for missing your message yesterday. 
and you're asking me for a favor. Oh, I've already given it more attention than I wanted to, but I'm just going to say the answer to your favor question is no. And if I see it, I'm going to strike the fuck out of your channel. Understand. It's not like, oh, it's another creator and it's shit. It's someone starting a channel who wants to use all my shit. The answer is no. I swear to God, I'm not that. I've never struck someone like that. I will strike the shit out of you out of spite. Understand that. Okay. Let's get into our crackhead Olympics. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Before the tab. <clears throat> There's a funny coincidence that came about from the retelling of these crackhead Olympics. Today's videos. Uh, our video starts with the birth of the Renaissance baby by chance. Hold on. Let's just, let's just take a little look at that clip for, for, I don't know, <laughs> for old time's sake. Hold on. Hey, Anna, do I look like one of those Renaissance babies today? <laughs> That was the comment that birthed the Renaissance baby. And the Renaissance baby was birthed on what, what day is it? June 5th, 2021. Omna, who at the time was a mod in Chantal's chat, said, FFG acts so holier than thou when she looks like one of those weird babies in those Renaissance paintings. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. I love that comment so much. There was something so like true to that. <laughs> That's where the Renaissance baby came from. So thank you, Omna, for that hilarious fucking comment. All right, let me get the real tab and let's get into this. Hold on. And, you know, life really does come full circle because then Omna didn't want anything to do with Chantal and came over to our chat and was like chilling in our chat for a while. So, you know, I, I, it's funny. Oh, well, first observation, she actually brought a change of clothes to Cracky's house. This is not what she was wearing when she went over there yesterday. So that's good. I didn't get the Ouija board yet. I got order one. I'm scared. I, I'm seriously scared, Captain Howdy. Told you. Hey, oh, the kitty. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Sorry. She had, I had my, my thing in friggin' neutral or park. Oh my god. And the person behind me, like the turn signal doesn't. You don't get very long with the turn signal. Jesus All right, let's go to Burger King. She is such a bad driver. Yeah. Oh my god. See. Let's go to Burger King. This is why everybody gets so mad when she drives clearly high on those edibles or under the influence of anything. Like nobody should be driving like that let alone someone who drives so badly when they're sober. My God, Chantel, my God. So I am going to go to Burger King. I'm going to go pay attention to my cats for a few hours, do some cleaning. Oh, you're right. And then, ooh, the Nashville hot chicken. Check it out. The Nashy! Frenchie from the present here. The Nashi, I think that's the first mention of the Nashi. Isn't that something? And the obsession was born on this day. Pixie, thank you for the super sand. Be, just don't be a dick is all that it is, you know? It's, it's, it's all. See this? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Let's go get some food. I've never seen somebody get so excited for fast food. Like, she goes to the same fast food places all the time. She knows exactly what's on the menu. Nothing is ever really new. Oh, wow, they took that same chicken sandwich and put that same-ass barbecue sauce on it. Literally, who cares? And this one is so excited for every stupidity that these places put out. Man. Plans for tonight. Frenchie from the present again. Uh, 
I tried that fucking Nashi sandwich two years ago. I was so curious. She wouldn't shut up about this fucking sandwich. It was the worst fast food sandwich I've ever tasted in my life. And that's really saying something. I got instant heartburn from the oil. They, they take like a chicken burger and dip it into this like hot oil stuff. The oil just gives you heartburn. It's so gross. Um, Kristen Rochelle. Well, I just want to say, I've talked to my aunt. I had such a good conversation with her. Oh, the poor sea Oh, look at them all. Hi, right? Shrinking. Oh, come on. Tell I a take story. care of my cats. No, you don't. I'm going to hang out with them. I'm going to hang out with the cats. Girl, nobody gives but a I'm shit if you're hanging out with the cats or not. Why don't you try, you know, taking them to the vet? Stop fucking giving them handfuls of treats every time they come near you. That is not taking care of your pet. Oh, 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 oh. Frenchie was a fucking oracle. Okay, we didn't know how bad it was on the cats, but we knew it was bad. Look, the fucking 2021, take them to the vet. You don't take care of your cats. Damn. Damn. Oh, my God. Winter Sun, thank you for the super chat. You're right about that. Oh, and clean the litter boxes without ever having seen them. We can all imagine how filthy they are by the rest of your house, the state of your car. Girl, take care of those poor cats. They can't clean the box themselves. Oh, oh my God. I feel like I'm like neglecting my life. And she said that's a sign of like transfer of addiction. Duh. Like being addicted to like attention and sex and that stuff girl come on it's more than just the guy at this point we all understand there's a hell of a lot of addictions going on what is with my stupid camera it's like i see it going pinkish orange pinkish orange i don't know what the hell is this boomer olympics you know i can't figure it out i don't want a committed relationship i've decided that oh god I'm going to be scaling back. Huge sticky booger. Excuse me. Wrong and wrong. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. And you're wrong. Anyway. I'm noticing a pattern here. Does anyone else notice during these first streams when she's leaving Dom's, almost every day it's, I'm going to back off. I don't want a committed relationship. I didn't even want a relationship. I just wanted a booty call. But then she goes home and I guess he works on her. Or I, don't, I don't really know what the fuck is going on. Right. But by evening when she's getting all get ready with me to go to dance house, it's always, well, I'm in a relationship and we have a thing going on. Does anyone else notice that going on? It's like he's, he's pushing and pulling, right? Testing her limits still. Yeah. Seeing what he can get away with, seeing just how far she will take things. Girl, she'll take anything, anything from anyone. This guy could do what the fuck ever he wants, and she will come running back. Okay, listen, Frenchie from the present here. We are not having another debate over chicken burger versus chicken sandwich. You can save all your cap locks in the world, okay? Listen, if it's on a round bun, it's a burger. I don't care what bit of the chicken. If you load up, like, chicken thighs on a fucking round bun it's a chicken burger you need to accept it america the world calls it a burger y'all just you can be wrong sometimes i don't know how many years we're gonna have this fight just don't fucking start with the usa i swear to god i'm leaving i'm gonna rage quit this jet So, get your finger out of your well, I'm enough time. You know the what I mean? world is wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, Joe. What? I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend? What? Oh, my God. It's not a boyfriend. Like, you know what I mean? There you go. What a joke. <laughs> like, oh, the it's finger in the nose. My God. And that's the hand she's eating with. This is beyond. 
Anyway, that's not why I paused. I paused because this one has no self-respect at all, is making an absolute fool of herself for this guy. But it's funny, eh? When you have a YouTube channel, you're not just like making an ass of yourself and you're the only one who knows about it, right? We all are watching this fool make a complete and utter joke out of herself. I've never seen anything quite like this. Not gonna lie, it's fucking riveting to watch. I'm gonna go home, see my cats, and this weekend for sure, work on, uh... Did she only put on those fucking hideous long ass talons to pick shit out of her nose? I'm starting to wonder. Ugh. Watching her eat normally is disgusting enough for me. Watching her pick every finger into her nose and then eat with that fucking hand? I feel like I'm gonna puke. I would say, did she really have to get this Burger King and eat it on stream? But now we all understand, so she explained tax fraud to us the other day, that she's expensing everything that goes in her mouth to the government for income tax. So that's why she does these disgusting streams that nobody asks for and nobody wants to see. Jokes on past Frenchie. She doesn't do income tax. Ha! <laughs> she explained to the audience how to commit tax fraud, but she doesn't even fucking file her income tax. The irony is not lost on me. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. That's a chicken burger. That's a Listen, Ch uh, Burger King only makes one chicken thing that is not a chicken burger. There is one thing there that I call a chicken sandwich, and that's that, you know that weird long burger? <laughs> Chantal bought it a couple of times. It's on like this like long like rectangle thing of a bun. That is a sandwich. It's not on a round bun. Disgusting. As a taxpayer, disgusted. Pretty much. I lose, eat fast food a lot and still lose weight, yeah. Because I don't eat a lot of it. Oh, shut up. You eat or, a shit ton. A shit ton. You eat more than people should eat, okay? But you're putting yayo up your nose. Most people aren't doing that kind of fucking shit and aren't stimulating their heart all day with shit, okay? Plus, I think it's, at this point, it's pretty obvious to see there is something else going on. I don't know anything about diabetes and stuff, but people have been leaving it in my comments that this is some kind of like diabetic shock that her body's in. This is not good. The way she's selling it as if this is some fucking diet or something. Girl, please. This is not healthy. This is not losing weight the way the weight should be lost. Uh, Frenchie from the present. You remember when she wanted ass pats because she was doing drugs and losing weight? And, and she really wanted praise for losing weight as if she was doing anything to lose the weight. Wow. Oh, and she was mad that people weren't giving her those ass pats. She really felt entitled to them. Alexis, thank you for the super chat. That is slander, okay? I love plums, but I love plums 30 years ago. Plums are not the same. They're just not. You, you need to accept it. Or I'm, I don't know. I need to find another place to buy plums. I've seen a lot of you guys are giving advice of like, buy them here, buy them there. I, I just, I don't know. Plums are not the same. I do a lot of fasting. I'm going to pretend like she didn't just say that. Sorry, I have that scab there. Oh, shut up with your fucking scab and your fucking talons in your nose. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, the fingernails are holding up nicely. They're not nice. They're holding up. No, I'm not Let's going to real. Go. Tonight. Let's see about that. <sighs> Oh, oh my god, look at this sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's so good. Extra pickles. Mm. I just don't like Yum. fast food. Okay, look, she holds that up like it's really something, right? And oh my god, look at this sandwich. It makes my stomach turn. Fast food, if you're not a fast food person, ooh, it's that's the opposite of what she thinks it's doing, you know? Girl, I don't want that fucking sandwich. You can keep that sandwich. That's nasty. The shape of that weird chicken thing. Ugh. And before anybody starts, because I know you're going to start, she called it a sandwich. I was mocking her, so I called it a sandwich. It's on a round bun. That motherfucker's a burger. Gross. Okay, 
go with the licking and the fucking mouth open. It's, oh, I can't, I can't. Close your mouth. I might well have a day, like, night to my son. I don't know. Can't even decide for herself. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, man. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what Dom says because Dom controls the whole fucking situation and everything that goes on every day, right? If Don calls me, I'll go running over. If Don blows me off because it's Friday night again and I've already paid his rent, then I'll be stuck at home uh, taking edibles all night, trying not to rage and drive all the way over to Gatineau or the other trap house or whatever the fuck now that they're fucking in and peep in the windows and hope to God that he's not fucking another woman. Spoiler alert, honey. He's still on the four dating sites, at least. I haven't been taken on a... Choo-choo. Yes, a sub is definitely a sandwich. And and no, last time we were talking like this, someone asked, is a hot dog a sandwich? No, a hot dog is a hot dog. It's its own classification. A date because it's COVID. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and anyways, I don't want to go in public. There you go. You don't want to go? Hang on. You don't want to go or he doesn't want to take you in public? Um, Throwing you down on that mattress on the floor, honey. That's not a date and that's not respect. Until a man can take you out of the house, put you on his arm and call you his woman. It's not a relationship. You're being used. Open your fucking eyes. I'm not going to the beach. Maybe next week. I need to get things done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody want to make a bet that Dom will never go to the beach with her? Never, never, never. That's my bet. Unless it's a beach in a foreign country that she paid for them to get to. He's not going to the, any fucking beach with her. No way. And ironically, wow, the only time I've ever seen her now walk on a beach besides Cuba at a spite is walking on a beach in a foreign country where she paid to get to to marry someone fake to rub in our faces. <laughs> Don't think, just clean. Whoever said that, well said. Good idea. That's what I do too. When you have shit that you don't want to do, the more you think about it, the more you psych yourself out, right? Don't fucking think about it. Just do it. By the time you start thinking about it, it's halfway done. I've always done shit like that. You should try for like cleaning, things like that. It really fucking works. I think I'm in love with the idea of like love and like that newness. Oh, <laughs> talking about the newness when you're doing the same old same old god for this experience but i'm not ready for that oh, that's not what i really god. want what i really want just someone to have fun with when i want fun but uh, i want to talk to that croatian guy oh my god mm. excuse me I gotta make a schedule. So, like a pizza night, you're yeah. Don't laugh. Hi, Megan. Bye. Night with Maybe cats. Night with Dom. Night you don't know him. Night with Dom. My, look at my eyeliner. I just put some. Uh, oh it's all God. leaking everywhere. That's why I have this on. All the weirdos live by me. Sure, it's pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I left it at. No, I'm not down. I'm just thinking about what I need to do. I'm very deep in thought right now. Yeah, I am. Oh my God, she picks her ears, her nose, eats, everything with those fucking talons. I don't, nobody knows about, what, what are you talking about, dogs? I didn't even know about this. I mean, what, what address are they putting? Blue Bob! Oh, the Marier Avenue? Mm. I don't know why people. <laughs> What's the address? I'll tell you if it's true. Oh God, she's such an idiot. I don't know, but I don't want to go there. Make a brelu. I have a lot of theories about that address, by the way, because I know for a fact the guy lives in Gatineau. Okay, his actual address is in Gatineau. Okay. 
is this the apartment that he runs with those friends that I had been told they chip in on the rent and everything? Dom lives in Gatineau. Dom fucks around in Gatineau and Ottawa. I'm gonna make a schedule. <clears throat> a schedule. Imagine having one thing, one thing, Dom, going on in your life and you need a schedule to be able to keep it all straight. Girl, it's what? Cats, Dom, cats, Dom? Like it really doesn't take a fucking schedule. I didn't want to tell you my plans. I'm trying to be quiet about my life. People give me fucking so much grief, man. Oh my and God. I my life, that's why. I'm not stupid. It's my fault. <clears throat> so what, what my plan was this weekend is to get my life in order like Saturday, especially Sunday. But tonight I did have, I'm going to, I was supposed to, I'm going to go home, see the cats, then um, I got to go to Farm Boy, go to his house, and he's going to cook, and we're going to watch that movie together tonight, The Conjuring. Don't be Frenchie from the present was just going to go, too. That's funny. The things that get on your nerves, I guess, always get on your nerves, you know? All she ever wants to do is, like, have snacks and watch a movie with a guy. It's true when people say, she doesn't give a damn about sex at all. She loves the validation that she feels from, like, having a man willing to be around her and give her that attention and stuff. But she is sort of, like, non-sexual. It's sort of forced, you know? All she wants to do is snack and movies. It's Okay. Uh, v. Cun, thank you for the super chat. Is cereal a soup? No, that's just crazy talk. Cereal is not a soup. You have me question. I'm like, or is it? <laughs> that's a thinker. But no, my preliminary answer is no. Cereal is not a soup. Be mad at me. Nobody it's gives a tonight. shit. And then tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, my God. Watch it yourself. He wants to watch it. Frost, that's so nice of you to say. Why, no, I do not shape my brows. This is just how God gave them to me. Give a shit. You. Give us your magic. Girl. Oh, I need to clean my car. All right, let's go to my house. Great. Move your ass. Uh, uh, move, move, move. Do we get ready with me? I'm not getting ready. I'm going there looking like shit. That doesn't stop you from doing get ready with me daily. I went there last night looking like shit. You, you know, said it, girl. Shit. But we had to get ready with I'm me. I'm just gonna wash my body. I don't want to put makeup on. I think I'm gonna. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. You're right. I should get ready. Charmuta, nice. get ready. I don't have time in the day. Okay, it's three. So I gotta go spend time with the cats. We've heard this I'm already. Uh, I'm not staying home tonight. Excuse me. I'm watching that movie at his house. But he's not my boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is pay attention to the road, but also um, go home. What did That's I say? I need to recap now. for myself. Skipping ahead. He's that kind of person like where you're like, if you're hungry, like he'll just like to have something around and just grab it and eat it. <laughs> That's it. All right, I don't have fucking plastic nails. I have real ones, but I'm going to paint them some ridiculous ass color next video and every time she flashes that shit i'm flashing mine too <laughs> i'm sick of looking at them yeah i want to go to farm boy and get stuff like i like things. bread and like, cheese and know, olives like, fuck off you know, I man pay for a lot of stuff and bring a lot of stuff over to people's house and you know why i'm a control freak because honestly i like to control how things are like like that's my problem with having a cleaner it's like i know oh i don't God. seem like the clean i'm like a very clean person but like i said like 
I like to have things done my way. You know? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So she doesn't bring a cleaner in because she likes things to be done her way. So that means she doesn't bring a cleaner in because she is fucking filthy. Now it all makes sense. Doing it her way means not fucking doing it. Wow. And if you think we believe that's why you keep bringing the shit over to Dom's house, girl, again, I hate when people take us for stupid. You're the one being taken for a fool in this story, girl. Don't try and put it on us here. You bring everything over to Dom's house to make sure that Dom keeps inviting you over. Pathetic. Like, seriously, seriously pathetic, girl. And trying to tell us that Dom pays for everything. What the hell does that mean? At this point, you've paid for everything and the fucking rent in the crack house that you're fucking in. Girl. But I want to get like, I don't. Yeah, I also think, Frenchie from the present here, she also insists on bringing over the cheese, the bread, the olives to make sure that she has snacks available. What if she gets there and he doesn't have food or whatever? Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know ingredients. I love going to Farm Boy. I just love going to Farm Boy. You know there what you it go. is? It's she just cheese likes is addictive. I guess. The cheese. I feel like I'm addicted to the cheese section at Farm Boy. Cheese and olives. Oh, I still have olives there. Freak. I need to remember to bring those home. <laughs> to be fair, Frenchie from the past had not been to a Farm Boy. Now I've been to a Farm Boy, and when she just now said I'm kind of addicted to the cheese section at the Farm Boy, Frenchie from the present nodded like, "Yeah, you know what? Relatable." Or like. Not relatable. I don't go there, but understandable. I had no idea. Wow, farm boy. Wow, I have farm boy envy. I miss my olives. I don't like that feeling. I guess just because I am older and this time around, like here to judge. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for watching, girl. Maturity and like doubt and everything. I just. I want to stay away from that negativity right now and just have fun and not worry. Like, who cares if when I leave it, when, when I leave his house, I don't want to have to worry about his life. And I don't want to have him have to worry about my life. And oh, girl, he doesn't give a shit about your life. Me. As long as you keep bringing over the money and the drugs or whatever the fuck else, it's like, he doesn't care. And she just said that she doesn't care what he does when she leaves the house. So she knows all about Badu. We already know that, right? I wonder if she's confronted him or maybe she's found for herself that he's still on all kinds of other dating sites, right? And she's just sick of having that fight with him. She realizes he's not getting off those sites no matter how much of a fight she keeps putting up. So she's trying to play it cool like she's accepted this whole thing. She has not. She is fucking fuming on the inside. We know what a control freak this one is. Just saying the words, I don't even care what he does when I leave his house, is probably killing her right now. <laughs> Yep. Ah, Rachel, thank you for the super chat, girl. I want to make really good friends and connect, good human level connections. You know, and Jeez. whether I sleep with somebody, uh, have a um, sexual up. something with somebody, like to me, sex is like eating. Like that's how it is to me. Like for for real. Like it's like a eating, breathing. People have sex. Like that's just every creature. Says the woman who hasn't had sex before this guy in what, at least two, three years. Now it's eating, breathing. <laughs> Cut the shit. <laughs> I don't want to feel like, oh my God, who's he with? Who's he talking to? I want to check his phone so bad, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be like that. Like that's, I don't want that. I, I can't. But you are though, aren't you? You are. <laughs> don't answer. We know like, the answer. Like, shit. Only I could tell I knew with BB I was gonna be with this guy because I knew I was falling in love with him. This is this feels different. Huh. Yeah, because so, at the beginning, my two cents. At the beginning, BB was actually really attracted to her and was like, you know, legitimately in the relationship with her. Of course, it felt different. BB had feelings for you. This loser is using you. Of course, it feels different. He wrote back. I'm good. How are you? And then I just left him on bread. Like, you're going to do stupid small talk after all that? I don't have time for you. Get a dick somewhere else. <laughs> Seriously, I don't need you anymore. No, I'm just joking. Oh, my no. God. I'm only kidding. Girl, 
we all think that Nick is married. He doesn't give two shits about you either. And that's why he blows you off and doesn't answer you for hours or he wouldn't call you back for days and bullshit. He's with his wife. This one cannot pick up on any fucking signals at all, eh? Every and you know what? Frenchy from the present here. He was only with his wife if he even existed. Because it's like 50-50. This person didn't even exist. And if this guy existed, he was married. I think he's like her first experience in the whole world. Bambi the dumbass here. Fucking doe footing through life for the first time. Get the fuck out of here. You're pushing 40 years old. It's pathetic. Not even D, like it's everything, you know, the whole package. I don't want to sound like it's just wieners that do it for me. That's not true. Wieners. It's the drugs, too. And this has got to be like a, an equation here, something that's an equation. attract you. I oh. think what it is, what it is. I don't know. Because there's definitely, like, conventionally way more hot people. It's just that. They don't give me attention, and this loser yeah, does. Like spending time with somebody, you can't really. Think... <laughs> <laughs> it's PB Jones. Oh, Come here. Oh, she's happy. She's gonna look cute. Look at my eyeliner. I gotta fix that after. Hi, Tracy. These are the days. Shay, tell me about it. Fucking drum drum. I gotta feed them supper. Peace. Ah, oh, her nail went through. I saw that. That was disgusting. You just want love. I know what you want. Somebody call me a trainer? I mean, yeah. So? Somebody? Everybody. Come on. Whatever. I don't think I'm a bigger train wreck than anybody else, honestly. Please. Like, oh, please. Well, yeah, I don't really care. Who cares? People who like watching train wrecks are train wrecks. Why would you want, you know, you do it to. Ew, ew. I just that she's home and instead of like, you know, washing her face, she's just licking the, <laughs> the Kleenex or whatever. And cleaning up her makeup. Ugh. Interesting. Hey, hey, hey. That is fucking interesting. Okay, I'm smoking. So maybe my mind's going to mm, this a little more than I normally would entertain this. But that was interesting. People who like to watch train wrecks are train wrecks. Like, I'm going to only speak for myself, okay? I love watching train wrecks. Yeah, I'm a fucking train wreck, too. Damn. What if she's onto something? <laughs> Feel better about yourself, but people who are secure in themselves already don't need to rely on other people to make them feel better about themselves. So I think that's mm. kind of bullshit when people say that, quite honestly. Actually, I think that's kind of bullshit because, again, I'm going to only speak for myself. I'm not new to your channel, girl. I've been watching you for years. I didn't get into you to watch a train wreck. I found you because. I was looking for weight loss, like support sort of on YouTube. That's how most of us found you, Amber Lynn, you know, you became the train wreck when the money started being made. Don't put that on us. All of us who have been watching since way back, we did not follow you to follow a train wreck. Now it's like, I'm invested in this shit, girl. I've been watching you for years at this point, right? I'm not going to stop watching because you're a train wreck, but that doesn't mean that I started following for a train wreck. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, Frenchie from the present here. It's amazing, though, how that has changed, where us who have been, let's say, watching her for years and years, it's true. We didn't start watching a train wreck, you know? But... There's a lot of people, I would say at this point, it's 50-50. Anybody who came in during Crackhead Olympics or after, you did come in watching a train wreck. Oh, that's very interesting. I never really thought of that before. But it has changed, eh? Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, shit. I am a train wreck. It doesn't bother me. I'm on a train. I might as well be the conductor. 
Sweet. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, Tracy. I mean, oh God. Oh my God! It's the soot she's putting on soot. This is so iconic. Oh my God. How sad is it that you come to a point where you're like, I miss the soot. Do you remember the soot? Oh, the soot. I mean, so that means there's going to be no shower today. No, I did shower, obviously. Are you kidding me? I shower there, too. Like, if I'm going to be there a while, I just wash my body and try to keep my head and face out of the water. But no, like, he's very, he's actually really sensitive to smells about that stuff. Like, in a, in a really, like, for real. Oh, God. Like, he's Please. really bothered by hair, smell, so I have to watch that. What Which the fuck? I understand, because me too. Like, if a guy has Shut sweaty up. nuts, you can stay the hell away from me, pal. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Goes to the guy's house, does all kinds of drugs last night, bones all night on that filthy mattress on the floor, doesn't bother taking a shower, is going to go back again for round two on that mattress, right? And has the nerve to talk about guys and their balls? I mean, nobody likes ball stink, right? Or any other kind of body odors, right? But coming from a woman spraying dry shampoo into two-day charmuta hair? I don't fucking think so, sweetheart. The roof on fire, gonna burn my mouth. I crave like having a nice hot bath. What? She just ended the stream there. That's weird. Okay, let me go see if she came live while I've been filming this. Well, while we were looking at her last stream, she came live again. I guess the stream got messed up, whatever. She had to end it. So let's get into this one's called Beezin again. Farm Boy Part 467. Hi, Amanda. Well, Farm Boy is good. What do you want from me? Oh my God. Little self control, girl. Oh, my ab muscles. Why do I have sore abs? We Hi, Steven Sanchez. Know. I miss chatting with you guys too. She's going to tell us about some new move or something. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He is going to come over. I just have to clean my face this weekend, tomorrow. I'm not joking. Tomorrow, okay. what? You clean? Oh, God. Clean. I don't want to do it. Do it. We want to meet Koki. We're doing it. So get ready. Do it. We're ready. Girl, we've been ready for like a fucking year. Clean that Beauty shit. Beauty will be back. Let's see about that. Into the swing of things. I want a quick magic trick. It is true. You cannot hear someone in the background cutting lines. What the fuck? You people are crazy. Are we? Oh my god. There you go. Oh shit. For anyone who doesn't know, they're talking about that fucking Snapchat that she did where you can clearly hear, in my opinion, it's not someone cutting them, it's someone snorting one. But someone's like sitting right next to her, sort of, or very close to her, sniffing a line that's fucking undeniable. Girl, we have ears. I just I can't. Can't deal. BBJ is a senior. Sweet news. Yes, she is. Why would I go like do a Snapchat while somebody's cutting lines? You don't think before you do anything. At all. And while she was doing the Snapchat, the guy came into the room. She actually said that, oh, it's awkward and someone comes in, right? So she went off to a corner of the crack room to do her little Snapchat. Koki comes along next to her. She's still Snapchatting high out of her mind, right? And Koki sniffed a line. <laughs> Undeniable. Listen well. Chantal would make a mistake like that. Not surprised. Why is it Chantal allowed to do her thing? Let her be happy. And you know what? Frenchie from the present here. In hindsight, she also was so like, I don't know, she felt like such the cool girl during Crackhead Olympics and stuff. Um, I wonder now if she did it on purpose because she thought it was fucking cool. So like she heard it happening and still posted it very much on purpose so that we would hear it, you know? Mm -hmm. Nina, thank you for the super chat. Because miserable people don't like happy people. You ever notice that? Please. Oh, yeah, that's right. So because we're anti-drug and anti this whole story that's been going on lately for you, we're miserable people. And we're just, we don't like 
happy people. Oh, well, people are stupid. No, people, people are, are stupid. stupid. To say. See that matter. stuff? You see? Girl, stop. I don't want to see. I'm glowing. Disgusting. Thank you. You guys always say I'm glowing when I look like shit. Are you trolling me? Glowing. I miss your nose oh. not being like that. Look at her skin and they say well, she's glowing. It's called springtime. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We are watching her apply Ooh. medicine to her nose herp on live stream. Expired will be okay. Hi, Carissa. Yeah, sweetness. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Expired medicine to her herp. All right, I'm going to take my Ozempic. Am I taking edibles tonight? Uh, maybe I'll, I'm not going to take as many as much because I don't want to. Mm. I don't get the munch. I'm not because she's going to be at Dom's and they're going to be doing other stuff. So she won't need to take so many edibles. She'll just need a little bit when they're coming down. That's the real truth to that answer. You'll never get that from her, though. Janaya. No, I'm. Larry, thank you for the super chat, girl. Bad drugs. So I don't know what people are hearing. I did a Snapchat. I was like really, really, really baked on a high dose edible. I don't know what people oh are Oh my talking God. About. Definitely yeah, not okay. MDMA. Sh bullshit. She was definitely baked on the edible. That's no denying. I heard mm, 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 that pasty mouth, right? You got the pasties? That's the THC. So she was baked on the edible, but that's not the issue here. The issue was what were you coming down from when you ate that edible? Girl, your eyes were cracked the fuck out. We aren't stupid. Stop this. Stop this. Uh, ecstasy, ecstasy, definitely, definitely not. not. Um, Mortified. I got really sick off that stuff, and I will not be doing that ever again. You didn't get sick off MDMA or ecstasy or Molly or whatever the fuck, okay? You got sick off the meth. That's what maybe, yeah, I would believe she's not going to do that again. But I think she really, really likes the yayo. And I think she does that whenever she can with Dom. That's my two cents. And I also think that during that Snapchat the other night, she was on a hallucinogenic. Um, I'm just going to say that that whole Snapchat gave me vibes to a mushroom trip that I had in high school. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. I told the story last night in my live. And cutting lines, like, no. On a Snapchat, like... All right. Look at her. Did you see her face just change a little? Mm, as she looked down to that Ozempic box, the realization hit her. She like replayed the moment that she did the Snapchat and she realizes that, yeah, Cracky was just off to her side, sniffing or preparing something. Ding, 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 ding. You see me on like a snap for like a few minutes. Hi, Marie. All we need I don't to know see. to tell you, but I was like on edibles. Mm -hmm. But what were you coming down from? No, I didn't admit to doing it. What? No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. That's another lie. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, everybody remembers. Everybody remembers her telling us the story of all the drugs she did, right? We didn't fucking invent this shit. This is straight from her mouth. We don't do it, like, ongoing. Lies? No, I don't drive when I'm high. Another lie. Yes, I have been to therapy. Another lie. What do you think about the haters? ALR hater. I don't, I don't think about them. Another lie. And she's on a roll. Keep it going, Chantal. Yeah, I know. I appreciate that. Um, Nick just said, hi, Heidi Ho. Amelia. Megan. Oh, yeah, I'm just living my life. Um, Nicholas just, I just left, left it. He just said, hey, how are you doing, Chantal? And that was it or something. I wonder if that's even true. She was just trying to make Koki jealous, so she bullshitted she that. She criticized the Twisty call. Misties, so you get banned if you do that. I'm just joking. Seems like you always pay for dinner and snacks. I do a lot. I do yep. a lot of the time, yeah. Always. Because he's not the type of person to blow money on food. Yeah. So if I want yeah. to, I can't. He's the type of person to blow money on blow. <laughs> Imagine that. This girl just does not fucking get it. Like, if you're not here, like, being supportive, then just don't be here. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, like, I'm I'm not kidding, because that's not true. 
Man, she's so full of shit. No, but like, seriously, Joe, why would I want a mod who does nothing but like shit talking? Like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And, and belittle fight. every single fight. decision I do. I don't want that. So, if that's what you're gonna do, then be quiet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gabriel. Holy shit. No. <laughs> it's too much for me. Oh, fucking hell. Shut up, no, Chantal. It's too much for you. Joe, Joe, if you have any fucking self-respect at all after that, man, you've been there for years. Walk the fuck away. Come and talk to me. <laughs> we got questions. You got answers. Come on. You're supposed to be your moderator. Uh, Frenchie from the present here wants to make a disclaimer. We did not know about Karate Joe's criminal history, let's say. At this moment yet, when I was, I remember when he left the chat and I was like, Joe, just come, come, come and talk to us. Like I was trying to lure him. Uh, imagine I was trying to lure a PDF file to come and talk to us in the chat. Ah, we didn't know yet about Karate Joe. Is this saying to people that your boyfriend's on drugs. It's not true. It is true. He's only speaking truth. I know the money on drugs. He's literally, at this point, like the only fucking mod who is actually speaking truth. So keep going, Karate Joe. Or like I said, walk the fuck away. But don't stop. Don't stop because of this threat. That's bullshit. No, no, no. I said we did coke. I didn't say we we do. He's a, a, an addict. I don't say we do it all the time. You don't have to. Okay, we you see you. That. And you don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would expect trolls to say that, but not a moderator is what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. He's on four dating sites. Please. Wait, what? Excuse me? He's on four dating sites. He's not my boyfriend. I've known him for like, what, a month? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so she knows not only about bad dude, but she knows about the four dating sites. See, I wasn't bullshitting. I, I, oh, I bet there's more than four dating sites, but she knows everything about everything that's going on. And the guy just refuses to stop. Wow. And who cares? Maybe he gave me money to go to Frumbo. You don't know. Like, who cares who buys the food? Yeah, please. <laughs> Come on. Mm. She's pissed. I take it back. She didn't know about the four sites. She knew about Badu. You can tell by the, again, the drainage of color from her face right now. She didn't know about the other three sites. Well, like I said, Chantal, email me. I have so much to tell you. And it's really in your best interest to listen up and open your fucking eyes. This is disgusting. What he's doing to you is disgusting. Degrading. Have a little self-respect. Email me. Wow. Look at her. But she I'm going to be home like tomorrow. She's sad now. Look at her. Look at her. Anybody who didn't believe uh, everything I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, everything I said have been true. Okay. These reactions, every time somebody in her chat, because since the beginning, since I threw Gatineau out there and people have been putting every single thing that I've been saying into her chat, you see her reaction every fucking time. Another time, look, today she found out about the four dating sites. That was in my video two days ago, okay? Look at the reaction. She knows what I'm saying is true. If you guys make up situations, you know the details more than I do. So here's the new rule. If you make up bullshit, you have to tell me, fill me in on the details because I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, okay. whoa. That's right. Trap queen with the nail oh, going. Queen. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're the one with the sympathetic life coming in to take the time to tell somebody that their life is sad and pathetic. Got it? Right. Oh, get your finger out of my face. Get your finger out. Oh, look how Wait, dirty that see. nail is. <gasps> Did anybody see how dirty the underneath of that nail was? Oh my God. I don't have long ass nails, but girl, white and spotless. You want this one? <laughs> That's disgusting. And I know shit like accumulates in the glue. Someone was telling me the glue that they use. That's vile because she uses those fingers everywhere you know Ugh, the bacteria and we're in the you know rona and ugh. no can't deal 
The least you can do is get that shit out of our faces. I want to see magic tricks. Yeah, we want to see them. Oh, my makeup. I'm going there looking like shit. I, I don't feel like getting ready. Can you make 40 bucks for you here? I don't know. <laughs> he wanted to teach me the card tricks, and I said no, because they're magic to me. You know? She can't ruin the magic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nessa, I tell the truth. I do. He's not a drug addict, but even if he was. Oh, God. Whatever. Hours of the same thing. <laughs> hours, 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 hours. Now she's going to go for her shit. Then we're going to go to Farm Boy. I mean, same old shit. Well, I don't do edibles every single night, actually. But I could go without it and not, like, jones for it. You That's know? true. That is true. Meanwhile, people take, like, benzos legally prescribed. Girl. Really, really, really. Yeah, don't talk to. about meanwhile. It's always yeah, but with this one. Always, always, always. The only way she will ever mention anything she does is with a yeah, but. I do this, yeah, but people do worse, right? Girl, don't talk about your THC that you need to take every day. <laughs> you know I'm not judging anyone on that shit. Why don't you talk about the things that are making you Jones, right? When we see this and we see you gnawing at your fingernails and eating sugar like a fiend and your eyes darting back and forth, girl, you're jonesing and you can't hide it. We fucking see you. So cut the shit. Stop putting this on other people. This is you and Koki being fucking disgusting. That's where the sentence ends. There's no yeah, but. Does somebody have to give you a reason why they have suffer from anxiety and depression? It's called fucking mental illness. It doesn't matter if I'm in therapy or not. And therapy doesn't work for everybody. Oh, for the love of God, says the woman who's never tried it. Cold life. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> My boss face. My boss face is how I feel about, like, okay, I, I went back in the chat because I'm like, what am I missing here? Um, Yeah, foodie beauty animal abusers shouldn't be super chatted anymore or, like, said anymore. I hard disagree with that. People come into the community every day. Let it let it be known who the fuck she really is. And and uh why should anyone forget? It's a it's disgusting. It's a shame what she did to her own two cats, what they did together to Timbit and stuff. It's disgusting. It's her like it's the darkest thing in this fucking girl world that I've ever seen, you know? Let it be remembered, not forgotten. Hmm? The cats are still dealing with like the consequences of the neglect that they lived with for all those years. Let everybody fucking remember. I love how people just think they can just judge your life situations as if they have a right to determine if you should, if you have a right to be anxious over something or upset over something. Okay. Like, for like the millionth time in a month, I'm going to say it again, girl. If you didn't want us judging you and Koki and all the dumb shit you've been doing, why would you bring it to your YouTube channel? We can't judge what we can't see. When you keep putting it in front of our eyes, girl, we're judging you. You're not, you're not going to convince us not to. And we certainly don't have to stop. If you can't take the heat, shut the hell up about it on your channel. You can't just accuse people of addictions. Like, you don't know these people. And it's like, I think he may have an addiction. You don't know. You don't know this person. You don't no, know we don't know this person, but we know you. And we know that until you met this person, you didn't have an addiction. You had a food addiction, maybe an online shopping addiction, and you liked the THC. That could be borderline addiction, right? There was nothing going up your nose. Nothing going up your nose. Nothing going in a glass pipe. So cut the shit. No, oh. I don't want to do therapy right now. It's my Forever. Choice. Oh my God. I'd rather no, do drugs, like not right therapy. Now. Honestly. Oh, Artemis, that's so nice of you. Uh, listen, it's do nothing to it and wash it with Pantene. And if you don't agree with my life choices, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to support me. Oh. That's all I can say. Oh, when she gets pissy with the people paying her rent. How do you know that's his address? That's what I want to know. Because, because of you. Parked there. Yeah, I'm kind of playing with fire, so it's not a good idea. So that's why I'm choosing not to do it anymore. But 
even if I do, it's my huge sticky burger. Listen, listen, uh, Frenchie from the president here. Um, it, it's not like a an attack or whatever. I'm just saying you felt like no need to super chat anymore. Okay, that like let's say your opinion. I was just giving my opinion. I think it is important to well, no, I'm not gonna say super chat it, but keep keep it going to a certain extent for those reasons that I said. You know what I mean? That's all. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. My business, you know. Then keep it I, to I, I yourself. Don't think I tell people about stuff like that because there you go. obviously they jump to conclusions and label you and blah 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 and make up shit. What are we making up, girl? We're going with what you, know, you said. The stores are going to open. I'm very, I'm a very ambitious person. I don't want to ruin my life at all. Oh my god. I mean, I don't. Hang on. Chantal really just said that she's a really ambitious person. I've heard it all. I mean, really, like what? I hate when people say that. Your life is pathetic. It is. Why? Says who? You? Are you yeah. ruining my life? We're not living it, girl. Thank God for that. But we have been watching it for years. And uh, Pathetic is putting it lightly. Going to Farm Boy again for like the 16th time in a month. I'm disgusting. But again, Frenchie from the present kind of gets it. Because like Farm Boy. Hey, Becky. How are you, girl? Thank you for the super chat. Nice to see you. Right now. Is she in a drive through She's at a fucking drive through Man, we, we she cannot leave the house, get in that car without going to a drive thru It's impossible. So jokes, oh no! If you green out, go to bed. The small is like three hundred and some eighty calories. Oh my god, she's that Dairy Queen. Calories. For the love of God, she came for another fucking twisty misty. I can't. It's okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, 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 count I, my calories. I feel like this is Groundhog Day. I feel like the last four or five videos I've made, it has been the exact same thing: posting in the kitchen, arguing with her chat driving to Dairy Queen or to some other fucking dump fast food place for Twisty Misty's or Burger King's or whatever. Talking about the guy, talking about the relationship. I, I can't take it. We've done two videos today. I'm not going for another run at fucking Farm Boy and this one with the drive through That's it. I'm tapping out. Any <laughs> That's so funny. Again, Frenchie from the past had no fucking idea. Farm Boy. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I have such farm boy envy. We don't have anything like that in Quebec, but yeah, I get it. Why someone would go to farm boy 16, well, 16 times a month is still absolutely bad shit. But I mean, that's the only place I'd be going to perusing the cheese section. Mm. Cat girl. Thank you for the super chat. You know what? I have a theory going now. Um, what if most of the time that the cats were on that counter behind her, they were kind of begging for water. I really wonder, because in hindsight, any time there was like just a random dish around, they were trying to like lick the the soapy water or whatever, or the whatever was left in the dish. I wonder if that's all it was, and they were just trying to beg for water. How sad is that? Holy crap. Makes your heart break for them. Fucking hell. Uh, well, that's a downer, isn't it? All right. Let's... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Cat girl. Great point, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me go. Oh, wait a minute. KK, thank you for the super chat. You're, you're just, thank you for the super chat. Huh. Hold on. Cat girl. I just want to put this up on the screen. Yeah. The kidney issues, which we know BBJ has, okay. Uh, make them constantly want water. You have to really make sure if your pet has kidney issues, there's lots of like fresh water around constantly. She also had mobility issues. So for a cat with mobility or any pet with mobility issues and kidney issues, they would tell you to put multiple bowls of water kind of around the house so that wherever they are, it's just a quick little walk over to get some water because they're going to be drinking so much goddamn water. I don't think the cats had water. So yeah, that's them begging for water at the sink behind her, but she couldn't give two shits. She's talking about the, the farm boy and the crackhead and stuff. Fuck the cats. Uh, all right. For our next and last uh, react today of the re uh, retro retelling of the crackhead Olympics, we're going to be watching one called Foodie Beauty Confesses Everything We Already Knew. She's massively cracked out. I don't remember this stream too much, but I remember the visual of this makeup coming into this and like 
She's cracked out of her fucking mind. So this should be good. There's some kind of confessional. I hope it's the drugs. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Uh, I don't know what the hell is on her face. <laughs> there were other streams earlier than this last night, but I mean, we're, we're not going to watch hours and hours and hours. We just want to get down to the good part, right? So I'm assuming that whatever is stuck on her face right now has to do with a previous stream and possibly the drugs that she's on. Ugh. I don't want to hear from any of these people. Look at me. Chantal's hair fibers. Is that what's on her nose? The hair fibers? Before the gummies. <laughs> After the gummies. <laughs> um, you got something on your nose. <laughs> Joe. I know, Joe. What am I gonna do? And in my eyes. I don't know who bothered me. This is my problem. My mouth is going to get me in trouble someday. No kidding. Georgie, thank you for the super chat. Past couple months, for me, it was really intense. And I have a YouTube channel to share. Like, basically to like almost like just story time my life in a way. And this would be such a huge part of it. And like to not tell you guys anything would be so weird. But I did tell you guys some things, but I want to try to tell you my feelings on some things without talking about him, like anything to do with him. Just him, like as in pertaining to the situation. Yeah, tell you know us. what I mean? But then again, I don't want to give certain people attention, like um, the negative people. Ah, I wonder who she could be talking about. You know what she just said without saying it, right? That I was right. <laughs> Listen, I know I was right. You know I was right. He knows I'm right. And everybody watching knows I'm right. At this point, girl, just let me throw it in your face a little bit. <sighs> I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so, Chantal. And if you had contacted me, girl, privately. Oh, yeah, this was the stream. I'm sorry. I'm such a div. You had probably, like, I love when I told you so. Everyone had messaged me before this one and was like, get your I told you so ready that she's getting hustled, that she's being played, that this whole thing's a scam, yada, yada, yada. She believed it. But then she chose again not to believe it because, you know, she wanted her crack in. <laughs> Bun Captor, thank you for the super chat. Oh, bless. And discreetly, you would not have gone through all this. Although you probably would have gone through all this because there's no talking you out of anything, no matter how much common sense the other person is using, right? Point is, honey, you could have known exactly what was coming. I don't know why, why I thought I would be compelled to share the drug use thing. I guess it's just that it was the trying the drugs because it was for me, it was like something that I didn't see as negative. Oh, I just saw it. DG, this was before. It's like people would just understand. But oh, please, not, not as it being normal, but as it being something that does happen. And like, I don't know, like, why would I think that? No, no, this was before, before that. Uh, after that, you can tell right after. Anyway, we will get to that in the retelling of the crack at Olympics, because the day after is where she docks my phone number and the vibe massively changes on this channel. So it, it'll be real obvious when we get to that point. Like it's totally not something normal because you're acting like a young girl you're trying to act like you're a teenager or a girl in their 20s or something and somebody that young you know would have been excused people people make those kind of mistakes at that age right what did you expect at 37 years old trying all this shit for the first time did you really think you'd get ass pats from the uh, audience like girl what the fuck you knew damn right everyone was going to judge you. You are just so narcissistic that you thought, oh, but it's me. People won't hate me for it. It's me. Girl, nobody gives a shit. We're judging you. Up to the llama we go. <sighs> no. I also... Do you feel like 
have changed as a person. I feel like I've changed as a person. No, it's just the drugs. Stop doing drugs and you'll go back to the way you were. Everybody changes when they're on drugs. Oh, so cold. I need to put a sweater on. Again, the woman who sweats in the middle of winter and goes out in her car with no winter jacket on, sweating, is now shivering from cold. I wonder what the reason could be. Hmm. <laughs> we love a good tweak this time of year. Then City Kitty, thank you for the super chat. That's really, really hard, girl. I hope it works out really quickly. I, ho I hope you, you find something else. Fuck them. All right. If I tell you the story, this for me means that I will officially probably never speak to this person again. And number two, you're going to be mad at me. So if you don't want those things to happen, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Jealous. <laughs> but. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. The Bergie four. Thank you for the super chat. Yes. The old hairline is fucking iconic. And tonight it is sooted up to an extreme. It is so, so pointy and so dark. Wow. I could use some insight from people. Do you think my hair grew a little bit or is it not? Is it just me? It doesn't feel like it's growing. Girl, shut up with your fucking hair. Oh my God. Don't tease us a story like that. And then talk about your damn hair. Shut up and talk. <laughs> All right. So I did continue to see Dom after. I told you so. But I mean, we all fucking knew that. So whenever I found out that message and I went absolutely nuts and brought his laundry back, I was supposed to stop seeing him and I had it in my mind that that was going to happen. And I was like, you know what? I'm not talking about him anymore at all because he had gotten in a fight with me. He really, really hated that I talked about him. He didn't want me to talk about him. He didn't seem to believe me that I, he didn't think it was an accident and he didn't like, you know, like the picture I drew of him. Like, I, that's right. I want to make this hundred percent clear. I 100% understand why he's, he's angry. Like with that, like a hundred, hundred fucking percent. Okay. I, I don't pretend to not, I, I understand. I don't, I'm trying to remember like what happened. Uh, hi Val. Hi Val. Thank you. Welcome Bola Sunshine. Shut up. Patrice. Just tell us Wait the it. story. Anyway. So Charlotte, thank you very much for the super chat. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, I agree. I love doing these retros because Crack at Olympics was the best time ever on her channel. But also anybody who came in during or after Crack at Olympics missed this like build up to it. Missed how how crazy the whole fucking thing was and missed a, a nicely cracked out Chantal. It was just, I don't know, even seeing her this cracked out now, it's uh, shocking to see. We just, we got so used to it then, you know? I would give anything to go back to this era now. Well, what happened after that? What happened the day after that? We had talked it out. You see why it's so important for a liar to have a good memory? Because things like this happen. She has lied so much over the past two months that now she really can't set it straight. And although, yes, now she's going to tell us a story, I'm still only probably going to believe about 50% of what she tells us. Sorry, Taylor. We had talked it out or something. I don't know. We like have fucking really bad fights, like arguments, really bad. Um, just we're always, always fighting. Like when I, sometimes we have moments together that are so good. And then sometimes like the good is really good. And the bad is so bad. That's what drugs does. Drugs makes every situation as volatile as possible. Right? So it makes those good times seem even better. And God damn it. It makes those bad times way, way worse. Right? Uh, somebody who maybe normally wouldn't yell or wouldn't fight all the time. We we see it with her in the morning, right? When I can tell when she's done the drugs the night before because it's that bitchy, abrasive attitude, right? So imagine this. Two people wake up in the morning who have had the drugs the night before. And it's that abrasive, angry, ready to fight attitude on both ends. It's a matter of time before there's fights. It's, it's inevitable at that point. At this point, I think I realize like I'm in love with Koki's a psycho who loves to fight. He just does. It is what it is. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. This guy, like, 
we're very confused about what we are because we never really made it official. It's like, but we would talk about it all the time and have like, you know what I mean? So it was just like, anyway, I, I, I was like, I'm in love with this guy. I want to see him every day. I want to see him all the time. I cleaned my house. Um, I cleaned my house like. 1027, Anno. Thank you for the super chat. I would call that a wrap. Top to bottom. Because I wanted him to come here. We know. And we would get in fights like every day, like over stupid shit. Like, um, I don't know. I don't want to go into detail what we fight about, but like he wouldn't, he, he'd never call me back and he'd be like, well, I'm busy with my friends. I talk with my friends. But anyway, it was just like stupid shit like that. So, and then he found out like what everyone was saying about him online. Like he found out everything online, like what I said about him. Um, people knew his name, whatever. Livid. He was so mad and like so hurt. Uh, and I didn't know what to say. Let me go one step further and say, I know that Dom knows all about me. And I know that Dom knows who's the friends, that group that we have in common. And I have a feeling that questions might have been asked. I have more than a feeling, put it that way. Motherfucker felt the heat was getting hot in his direction because he knows damn right that I knew exactly what was going on. I knew the scam that was being pulled. I knew the guys in his little fucking group, okay? Nice try, Dom. You can't live in hindsight, right? Hindsight is 2020. And I have to stop saying if this one had come and spoken to me and if this one had spoke, we know how desperate she was. There was nothing anyone could have said that would have made her avoid this situation, right? She went running into this situation. To her, this was this was going to be a story time. But damn, you could have at least played it a little smarter if you knew what I had to tell you. That's all. You could have played the game. Just been a little smarter and protected yourself a little better. Because now, by the way, that he's been in your house, spoiler alert, I know he's been to her house. She's fucked. So I went and picked him up and so he could come here so we could talk. I didn't want to say it at the time, Richard for the present, but apparently he allegedly conspiracy, whatever, had taken a key. And because there was a delay in her getting back the key, the, it wasn't even a question, but it was like, oh, he went and made a key, like a copy of that key. So everybody knew in his group of friends and whatever that he had a copy of the fucking key to the villa. So that's what I meant by now that he's been in there and had access to your keys for like four fucking days. She mysteriously couldn't find the key and then the key just pops back up. Like, change your locks. Change Just, just change your fucking locks. You know what I mean? I, I told her, change your fucking locks. <laughs> She's so naive. A crackhead has your house key for four days. What kind of a moron doesn't just change their fucking front door lock? You have to be a special kind of stupid. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's amazing to me. Shoehorn, thank you for the super chat. People used to say it was like the McDonald's logo on her forehead. <laughs> it was just like rocky since then, like really bad. Um, we had a really good night here, but it was like awkward a bit. Obviously, Pete's is like down the hall. And he like showed me a whole, showed me so many messages from like people, from women, from my haters, um, different people. Like, is this your fan? Do you know this person? And I'm just like, you know, like, why are you talking to these people? But I, I don't know. Like, I just, you know, I just I was like, oh, I'm just messing with people. No, but the thing is, is like, told you, Dom understood exactly why these people were messaging him. I said that in my previous videos, right? Dom, who pretended to be completely computer illiterate, is a whiz with the computers and with all of this. Dom had seen. I, I misspoke there. He's not like a whiz with the computers, but he knows what he's doing with apps and shit on the phone. And so he, yeah, no fucking problem. And he pretends to be like, oh, how do you turn this on? You know, like a fucking idiot. No. Shiny Spurs, thank you for the super chat. Seeing her channel, Chantal was very much targeted on purpose for her money, for her naivety and for her desperation. Put it that way. Of course he was watching. Of course he knows your haters. He knows exactly what's going on. For his bad luck, I came along. I wasn't a hater before this. I wasn't even doing Chantal videos. The timing of this was impeccable, that I would come along, happen to be here in Quebec, and happen to know a shit ton of people in Gatineau, real seedy fucking people in Gatineau. 
the type of people who would be connected to this deadbeat. It's kismet. It's, you know, I, I don't believe in coincidences, but there's something very funny about the timing of me coming up, this timing of this storyline, the location of this loser, and the fact that I knew all this stuff. Okay. It's also... Okay, the sliding doors in the story to me has always been because I stand by that. It was the weirdest fucking thing. Suddenly there was this pivot and the story's taking place in Quebec. Then he even moves to Montreal. It was it was weird. And like, what are the like how how the fuck anyway, anyway, Kismet. I don't believe in coincidences, but that's pretty fucking weird. The sliding doors of the whole damn story is if she had not doxed Koki. So early on and stuff, would he, number one, have ever even made the channel? Would anyone have ever, like, no one would have ever found him. Nothing would have ever happened there. You know what I mean? She could have just had this, like, disgusting thing going on in her private life. Uh, and we wouldn't have ever known except for the stories that she came to the internet with. It was because of her. The, the sliding doors was her doxing him and him going like, you know what? Fuck it. Why don't I make a channel too? Get a little piece of the action and stuff. It's it's because of her that half of the craziness happened. All of the crack at Olympics happened. It really is thanks to Chantal. So thanks, Chantal, for the crack at Olympics. It could have never happened without your, your, your stupid behavior, you know? Robin, thank you for the super chat. So what happened was... We agreed. I'm not going to, we're, we're going to like say that we're not seeing each other. I can't go to his house anymore because people like, I thought like his ex knows about me and is probably watching this right now. Um, so remember when I said a few days ago now that she was banned from the crack house because of her big mouth. Told you so. <laughs> and just get my story out and end it and get like, that's it. Because I feel like it really is over because like it ended so bad. But anyway, um, where was I? So then I brought him home or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so it was fun. Anyway, we just fight like every day. And then all of a sudden, like, he stayed here, not yesterday, but the, was it today? No, it was the day before. Girl, we know the timeline. Look at her thinking back of all her lies, right? It was the day before. You remember the day when she didn't come back on live stream at night and then bullshitted us the next three, the next morning and went, oh, I didn't stream last night? Girl. That was the day. But the, the day, day before. before. Exactly. So yesterday morning, I brought yesterday I brought him home, okay? I brought him home. And then I saw that email from that crazy, like, friggin' old woman. So I sent that to him, the screenshot of the email. I said, what the fuck is this? Why are crazy women, you know, are you going to see this woman? Is it, like, what, you know? Oh and I'm like, is it, what's going on? Oh my God, wait, Montreal are in the chat. I'm sorry, I saw Saint Saison and it caught my eye. Uh, nothing to see here. Five seasons, Saint Saison in Westmount is like a farm boy. It's like, it's not a farm boy. It's not, it's not like a farm boy. It's just better than what we have here. I will, I will agree to that one. But that, I don't know, that place is like a meme in my family. We always, it's my mom. But my mom would always, oh, Saint Saison. <laughs> I don't go to Westmount for anything or Saint Saison, but... Yeah, I agree. It's it's the best thing we have here. The closest to a farm boy, for sure. Cat girl, thank you again for the super chat. We're on. He's like, no. And then and then and then he just like ignored me like all night. And then I like, called him today. And then it was okay. He's like, I'm not feeling good. And then all of a sudden he fucking all of a sudden, like we're all talking. And then all of a sudden he's just like, You still talking about like me on the online? I'm like, no, why? Why do you keep he's like so then I don't know what he fucking said. He flew off the handle. I don't know. Hung up. We, anyway, we ended up like, he ended up blocking me. I ended up blocking him. We, we were in a huge fight. Like, fuck you. Everything. But we fought like that before. <laughs> so, for what? Because you believe this person, this fucking troll? Like, should you not believe me? You know what I mean? Like, should you not believe me? It's not about believing you. He's watching you. Hmm. Let me tell you something about hustlers and liars. Liars don't believe people because they know how dishonest they are. So they tend not to believe what people tell them. Here's what they believe, what they see with their own fucking eyes. So maybe this woman contacted this guy, and I'm sure there's lots of people who've contacted this loser, right? He's not believing blindly what they're saying, honey. He went to your channel after being told that you're still talking about him, and he saw that shit for himself. It's very simple. 
Don't put this on other people. You're the one who can shut your fucking mouth about him. You've been talking about him every single day. You didn't stop. I just, I'm sorry for lying to you guys. It wasn't my intention. I fully knew it. I'm like, I'm going to lie to them because I like having because sex. Because I didn't want to tell you. I wanted to keep it private. No, it's because he made an ultimatum. Either you shut up about me or I'll never speak to you again. So what did this one do? Blindly follow the D and do whatever the crackhead told her to do. She didn't give a shit about lying to her audience. It's not about anything else than blindly following the D because she is that desperate. Well, call from my mom. No, I think my mom did call. No, she didn't. No, <laughs> that was bullshit. The day that her mom called during the live stream, and she had to go real quick, right? And then when she came back later on in live stream, she didn't even remember that lie that she had told about her mom having been the one that called. It was Koki that called. She went fucking running to Koki, obviously. Girl, you know what's the worst thing when someone's trying to confess a lie, right? When they keep fucking lying, just be honest now. Come on. But I think she wants to still be a little careful because she's just hoping dumbass will unblock her and they can keep going. I didn't, it's not that I felt ashamed. I just. Yup. <laughs> Delulu, thank you for the super chat. I think he does. I just felt really open. Like I felt like it's something that was, I didn't want to share anymore because I don't want to talk about it because I know it's toxic and I know people don't want to hear that kind of shit, you know? It, it sounds toxic, right? And that's why I'm saying I don't think sounds it can ever be, toxic. even if I have these feelings for him, it's not enough because it's not working. He gets mad. He, he, like, I piss him off all the time. And especially since what I did, I know it's like, he probably thinks I ruined his life or something. And it's like, I just, so I, I'm probably- Oh, girl, you didn't ruin his life. You ruined his scam. And you put a lot of heat on a crack house and all of his loser friends. Obviously, that would be a problem for him. But- I hate how she's like internalizing this so hard. Oh my God. I used to piss him off all the time. I used to make him mad. I don't know what I used to do. There's nothing you could have done, honey. It's not about you. This was about the scam. You have feelings. He does not. He is in it for the money. The, the sooner she accepts this, the sooner she can actually start to move on. She needs to understand that there were no reciprocal feelings there, right? This was very much one-sided. The reason, ironically, here we are, literally two years plus later, she still hasn't accepted that with Koki. Ah, insane. Ugh, thank you for the super chat that he kept pushing you away and not answering your calls and treating you like shit was because he was hustling multiple people at once. I've been trying to say this. So he has to be available sometimes for other people. And like you were saying at the beginning, you saw him almost every single day for what, a week? Because you were paying out the most at that time, more than the other cash cows in his life. And you were the new one. He had to get that hook in good. And boy, did he ever better off out of his life anyways then because as long as he's in it he'll probably be harassed by you people so you know what then if that's you know <laughs> fine but don't be mean to me about it you need therapy oh yeah. big no. time yeah i probably do but some I, I i i feel like just things happen for a reason and this is <laughs> let me make another prediction now. I'm just thinking of something because Chantal seemed a little hard up for money in the past couple of days. We've seen her not really ordering, right? Making things at home. She actually really thought about going to get more edibles yesterday and stuff. And I don't believe it was because she really wanted to abstain for a week. I think she was debating spending the money because she's running real low. YouTube doesn't pay out for a week still, I think, or more than a week. I'm not even sure. She's fucked now for a week. And isn't it funny timing that while she's broke, Koki decides to fuck off? Hmm. Something tells me Koki's going to unblock her something around. When does YouTube pay? The 21st? Something tells me Chantal's about to be unblocked. But why would you get... And the payday cycle was born. That's exactly what happened. And then that's what went on for like a year after that. Wow. Ah, oh, the good old payday cycle. I forgot how fucking cracked out it was. So not only would he get rid of her and like fight with her before every weekend. So he would like have the weekend off for God only knows what the hell he was doing. Every time she would go broke every single month, he would also pick a fight with her and fuck off until right before payday. Oh, I forgot. Wow. The payday cycle we used to call it. And it was so fucking on the money. Ha! 
the Bergy. Thank you for the super chat. Um, well, yeah, like I get it. I get it. Besides like hearing anecdotes here or there, if you weren't in it in crack at Olympics, Ooh, you missed, you missed a lot of who this woman really, really is on the inside. Cause this was Chantal in her truest form. In my opinion, everything she was and and did and everything when she was with Koki and stuff, this is the real Chantal. And she would actually love to go back to doing it. It's like me of all people, like I do nothing to him. Like I'm so good to him. I'm so loving and caring and giving and forgiving. <laughs> like I'm so forgiving. It just feels like I pick fights with him all the time. And it's like, well, just don't do, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm going crazy. It makes me feel like I'm going crazy. Like I'm the crazy one. Crazy. You always think I'm always lying to you, or I don't know. I just I brought yeah. drama in his life, and he sees it as my fault. I know, I know, and I feel like a total fucking bitch for that. But and I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to make that better. Oh my god! Can you imagine to ap apologizing to the scam artist who tried to rip you off, and is only mad at you because you shed light on his hustle. <laughs> Oh, hold on. That's really interesting. Sorry. I'm also trying to keep up with real time chat. Wait, wait, damn it. Beep, beep. It's payday today and it's so different now. You're right. You said that. I look at the, 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 what do you call the calendar on the corner of the computer? It's like, oh yeah, it is. Okay. But it's meaningless to her now to a certain extent. Think about during crack at Olympics, she was waiting on those like $12,000 paydays, $16,000, $20,000 at the height of the crack at Olympics. And stuff. It was, it was real money coming in, fuck around money in a big, big way every month. She knew it. Koki knew it. They were like literally two crack, imagine crackheads, but instead of waiting for like, I don't know, tiny bits of money to drop in, you're waiting on 20 grand to hit the direct deposit. You know what I mean? Whoa. Just, it, it was on a whole other crackhead level. It was, oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. Now, what the hell does she wait for at payday? I would love to work that out. You know, I always say, I I, I have no idea like how much she would make and that, 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 because I don't get ads usually on the videos on this channel and stuff or the live streams and shit. And she doesn't get super chat. So it's like, I would have no way to compare. I, it hit me. Frenchie Du would be a pretty good comparison because- Frenchie also doesn't get super chats or whatever, but gets the ads and she gets ads and no super chats. I would love to go on Frenchie Deux and, you know, approximate. It would be a pretty fucking close approximation. How much would she actually be making now per month? I think it's peanuts. I can't imagine it being more than a couple grand a month. Maybe what, $3,000, something like that at the most, just off the top of my head. That's Canadian dollars. She's living in a place where the Canadian dollar is worth like 25 cents. Like how far is that money really making her, you know, or taking her eh, like payday? Wow. There's it's nothing to get excited about. Like it was during the crack at Olympics. <laughs> I did do something. I mean, I didn't mean to, to do that to him. It was an accident. It really, really was. I was being really stupid and careless. Yeah, you're not entitled. Yeah, I know. Wow. That tone change there. Did you catch that? Okay. Theory. She's now blocked. And this is all just to get, when I saw her doing this, I was like, oh my God, this is for Dom. And that, oh, I'm really, really sorry. She knows he's watching and she's trying to get unblocked. God, can you imagine being this pathetic? Ugh, I'm mad at myself. No, we're not. No, we're blo we blocked each other. Yeah, that's that's over. over. I'm done talking about it. And I'm sorry, but there you go. She laughed and smiled while she said, it's over. I'm done talking about it. So that's the reality. It's not done. She knows it's not done. They're pissed off at each other now. As soon as she gets her YouTube money, she knows damn right. He's going to unblock. Everything will be fine. If not before that. And they've done this before. Like she said, right? She's literally just waiting for the unblock. And like she just said, she will keep it offline. Like we can't fucking tell. Like you haven't been trying to keep it offline for a week. And like we haven't known exactly what the fuck is going on. No, because he wanted it. He wanted our relationship not to be known. He wanted it secret because of that. Told you. So he was trying to make it back secret, you know. 
what? What do you mean? Taylor? Who was telling when I was leaving his house? What? Nobody was telling, but there was a big tell when you would leave his house because that's when he would pop online on the dating sites. So people were watching that and they could tell when you were coming and going. <laughs> and then the, it would time out with your live streams and stuff. Like it was so obvious, pretty much. A yeah, it was on. I remember at the time, Frenchie from the present here, it would be on like Kiwi Farms and stuff. She would, Kiwi Farms or Twitter? Shit, it's too far in the past. One or the other, all right? She would leave. He would pop on on the dating sites and on the Facebook Messenger and stuff immediately. And then she would end up live within five minutes at that Burger King, which was less than five minutes from his house. The, it, it was so, it had become so obvious for the like the psychos who were watching it, you know, it was funny. <laughs> Riff, thank you for the super chat. As soon as this one would get into her car, he was on the dating sites. He was messaging girls when you were leaving his place? What? Yes. Yes. No, 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 what? No, 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 you heard, girl. And it's true. I bet he blocked me because he feels guilty about something. No, I saw his messages. He was talking to a lot of women. He's like, I'm just messing with them. What? You like video call, video call, my ass. Desiree, I know you don't want to hear it, but he's a scam artist. He is in a group of them. What? Desiree rap. What? Desiree, my girl. What? No, no, no. What is that about? She just makes up stories. I don't think, I think that's stupid. <laughs> what? Is it? You want to bet, Chantal? <laughs> She's so dumb. Frenchie from the present here. She's so dumb because, just because, just because, like, she didn't want to know. You know what I mean? She she got some kind of, like, excitement from it. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But even if she would have believed everything that was being told to her, which she didn't, she would have, that would have, like, got her going. Or not, ooh, he's really bad. I like that. <laughs> Like she got off on what she thought was a bad boy, but he was just a piece of shit. My God, I pressed the wrong button. What the fuck is the matter with me? That back neck. On. Okay, so here's what's going on in the chat. Desiree, somebody just came in and said that the guy's in a scam artist group. And then somebody else says something about French fried girl doesn't know that she's just making up stories and they start going in the chat. Okay. And look, she reads all that and she, <laughs> she knows. She does know again, Frenchie from the present here. She didn't, she wanted to pretend like this wasn't happening. You know what I mean? But again, you could have told her anything. She would have just kept going. So it was like, ha 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 ha. I know. Can you shut up? Sort of, you know what I mean? I know, but can we pretend like this isn't happening? Can everyone just shut the fuck up? What is the matter with me? My God, you think it's the, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I got too big. Because she fucking knows all those friends that he's always taking his calls with and chilling with and probably coming and going from the trap house, right? She knows. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh my God. I don't even know. See, everything is messing with my head. That's the thing with it being online. I don't know who to believe. Do you know what I mean? 100% um, the dick pic was not his. That was confirmed by him. And I knew it because I know his dick very, Obviously. very well. That's not even Girl, his body. But everything else. I've never seen his thing. And just having seen other guys' things from that part of the world, I knew it wasn't his thing. That's obvious. He was using a picture of someone else's and passing it off as his own. Big deal. Point is, everything I said he did, he did. And... Yeah, that's a weird thing. You know what I mean? Uh, in hindsight, looking back, what a weird argument to make. You're not addressing the fact that, like, the guy that you call your boyfriend is sending pics of dicks to women. She's harping on the on the fact of, like, well, that wasn't his dick. Okay, but he's still sending dick pics to women. Like, who the fuck cares if it's his dick or not? Am I crazy to think that... It, 
I don't know. The the bad part of that story isn't whose dick you send. It's the fact that you're like conversing back and forth with women and sending pics of dicks. Uh, I, she's insane. A shit ton more stuff that you don't even know. I never really knew for sure if I wanted to be in a relationship. So I could never, we never cemented it, you know, but that's not the point. Um, I'm not going to answer that question because it, that seems like shaming. Okay. I'm not going to shame myself by answering that question. What I will say is that I've been up since two o'clock in the morning and I've been smoking them like cigarettes today. So make with that what you will. The point is, is you're saying you're not talking to other women in that way or seeing other women in that way. So you're lying about it. Just be honest, you know? <sighs> Yeah. She's still in her mind. That's the big problem here. That's the big discovery du jour, right? Is that he was talking to other women, girl, fucking irrelevant. He is scamming you. That should be the number one thing on your mind. I bet you, I bet you any money. Like, I don't know. So that's what, do I believe it or not? Because saying that whenever I would leave his house, he would message other girls to come over makes a lot of sense because it's like, <sighs> It's like, there was one night I felt like he wanted me to go home so bad. Like he kept trying to get me to go home. And I kept yeah, like right. sitting around like that. Uh, the night, remember when he had to speak on the phone for a long time to his mother who was in a coma? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I forgot about that fudgy from the present. Wow, wow. It's it's the little things in time, crack at Olympics that made it so fucking entertaining and hilarious, but you forget after a couple of years, eh? That's right. His mother was supposedly in a coma. This is Koki we're talking about. And uh, slash, he was going to have to be on a very long telephone call with her is how he blew off Chantal one night. I have a very long phone call with my mother. The mother's in a coma. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking crack at Olympics, man. He's trying to get rid of you. I want to know what the rumors are. I want to know, like, proof, what proof people have of things. I need to know bad things so I don't go. Lucky, lucky. Welcome to very important. Meeting. Girl, email me. I've been saying it. You don't want to listen. If you really. Ah, Frenchie from the past, you fool. <laughs> Frenchie from the present knows she didn't want to know any bad things about him. The last thing she wanted to, even you could have told her, literally, you could have told her that he stabbed his ex-girlfriend and went to jail for two years minus a day, and she would have yeah butted that shit away. She did not want to know. No, 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 no. Cold. And I'm alone. <laughs> Better alone than with a crackhead at your side. I was going to take us on a weekend getaway to like a spa hotel. Not this weekend, but the weekend after. <laughs> Can you picture going to a spa hotel with a crackhead? For real, though. For real, though. She's bringing a meth addict to a fucking spa. Talk about living in the fantasies in your own fucking head. My God. And I was just talking about that with him, like, when he flipped out on me. Like, we were just talking casually. <laughs> I called him. Like, I hadn't heard from him for, like, a day and a half. Like, if, and he asked me that the night he was here if I wanted to be in a serious relationship. If you want to be in a serious relationship with somebody, you think of them throughout the day and a half that you're away at least and at least call at night like you say you're going to. Nope, no call. So by 3 p.m., I'm like, I'll call him. It was just like today. So he's like, uh, he's like, oh, I don't feel good. I feel like, you know, I don't feel too good. My throat is sore, blah, blah, blah. And then um, <laughs> I was like, well, I was just looking at like, like cool hotels to stay at, like a spa, you know, whatever we can get away. And then he just like fucking flips on me, like flips out, flips out and then hung up on me. And then I texted him, and like it was just like we're both just shaking our heads. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. 
I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny. But at this point, it's funny. Like talking about a weekend getaway with a meth addict. And like, of course, the guy flips the fuck out on you. He's thinking, don't spend the money on a fucking weekend getaway. Give it to me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. To crack it on a weekend getaway. I just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> He says he. <laughs> I miss crack at Olympics. God damn it. Oh, it truly was the best time. The... <laughs> she's sitting there thinking she's being all seductive. She cracked out of her mind with those fucking talon nails and sitting in her lingerie trying to like entice a crackhead to a weekend spa getaway with her and stuff. I fucking can't. I can't. And now we sit on the floor in Kuwait doing fuck all. Ah, I would give anything to go back to Crackhead Olympics for the community. You know what I mean? For us, for the group. She just posted, oh, tabarnak. Oh, no, she's cooking again. Serenity now. Oh, God. Okay, there's only a couple of minutes left of this, literally. And then we'll get into her new thing, all right? Uh, <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat, girl. He wants to be in a relationship with me. He tells me that. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's what's best is that I, I am done for sure because Good. it's a very toxic relationship. Very. It's not a relationship, toxic. but yes, and it's toxic. He's so right to be mad at me. I didn't, what I meant to tell you, I didn't mean to tell you in a bad way, in a bad way about him or anything. I just was telling you what happened. Yeah, she thought telling us about all the drugs she had done with this loser was telling us good stuff. The fuck? It's over. It's like over for good. Just I think the entire audience right now just collectively crossed their fingers that that was true. I doubt it, but come on. So now I'm looking for a man's that's from that kind of, you know, like Morocco or fucking Egypt or something like that. Um, really good build, like naturally nice build. Dark eyes. Um, <sighs> dark hair. Well, no, it doesn't have to be dark hair. But is that what girl in what? <laughs> What guy in Morocco and Egypt would have what blonde hair? Doesn't have to have dark hair. What does that mean? He can be bald because that's pretty much the other option. <sighs> oh God, she's gonna ruin the house. I don't like this. This is like worlds colliding, and I don't like this. I can't believe I told you guys my story. Now, oh, I don't want him to be mad at me though. I, I really don't. I don't want him to be mad at me. That's the thing. See, so that just let us know that as soon as Koki unblocks her and contacts her, she goes run right back over there. All right, guys. What would you like see to see happen for me? Like, would you like me to get over Dom? And what would you like to see me do with my channel? Like, what would you like to see me happen for my future? Like, you know, like right down to like what kind of guy I'm going to be with. <laughs> like, fuck the guy. <laughs> here's what we want for your future. Or here's what I want. I can We can only speak for ourselves, right? Here's what I want since you asked the question. Forget about Dom. Get the hell away from that fucking loser. And don't ever look back. Jesus Christ, man. Keep losing weight in a healthy way. Not this kind of a way, okay? Get your fucking life together. Start being productive. Force yourself to go outside every day. It creates a routine and it creates something good in the mind. Force yourself to do things that you don't want to do. Sometimes we have to pull ourselves up in like that in life, right? There's nobody else going to force you up, honey. Get out. Start doing stuff. Have a routine. Start doing things for you. Then when you like you. Ah, uh, shut up, Frenchie from the best, you little bitch. <laughs> Pollyanna ass motherfucker had no idea. You know what it is? I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. The vibe changes after she doxes me and sits there giggling. My motherfucker threatens me. It's a, at this point, I still did care. I genuinely cared. I genuinely felt I was a genuine little Pollyanna bitch Bambi. And uh, I sickened myself present day. Okay. <laughs>
1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. Nothing will ever change that. Ever. <laughs> I can tell myself to shut the fuck up too. You see, I'm an equal opportunity asshole. Everybody gets it. Me included. Now, <clears throat> dumbass posted while we were live because dumbass has no sense of sense at all, you know? So uh, what do you say? Since we are live, let's take a look at making homemade Chef Boyardee's beefaroni and cheesy garlic bread. It's going to be another slop plate of cheese. I can feel it. Are you guys down? I am still down. Enzymes in the mango. Thank you for the super chat. Can we get two years minus a day merch? <sighs> Hell yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. And it's just like handcuffs or like a jail cell. I love it. I love it. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Yeah. Frenchie looks for crazy shit to do at two o'clock in the morning now. Clink, clink. I know what I'll be doing tonight. Great idea. Enzymes in the mango. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, we're down. Okay. Okay. The only thing, and I don't want to hear any bullying at all. You know, there's going to be ads because, you know, Frenchie's never going to pay for premium. And uh, we're watching this on her channel. So hold on, let me get the tab and everybody shut up about the ads. Hello, may I come in? I am Chef Boyardi. Hi guys. <laughs> so I'm uh, still feeling a bit under the weather and uh, so still recovering from whatever it is I have. And uh, I wished on days like today, I could just open a can of beefaroni Chef Boyardee, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, first of all, hello. <laughs> uh, we have a new angle today, everybody. Am I crazy or is that the pan she put in the oven yesterday and is the pan's handle wood? I know I'm obsessed with this pan from yesterday, but I still don't understand it. Whatever, whatever. I'm looking behind her. Okay, the thing that the microwave is on, it looks like it's stainless steel. Is the top covered with a garbage bag? Is that a garbage bag covering the surface? Why? <laughs> I am confused. But unfortunately, here in Kuwait, I can't find any Chef Boyardee. I don't know if they have it at a certain store, but I haven't been to that store. So uh, I'm going to have to make my own Chef Boyardee. And I'm going to make beefaroni today, or attempt to, so for myself and my husband. So uh, let's get the show on the road and try to make some beefaroni. Yalla. And I'm going to, like, you know, keep it in the same vibe as the canned beefaroni and just kind of, like, very basic, very basic. So, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be tasty, hopefully. So since I'm cooking everything in this one pan, <coughs> I'm going to like boil the noodles first and cook them. I found this long macaroni. It's exactly like beefaroni noodles. Anyway, let's put them in the pan. I don't wait for the water to boil all the way before I put my pasta in. I don't want to hear it. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce. Camera check. Shut the hell up, Dana from StreamYard. I'm literally on Google right now trying to see, is Chef Boyardee halal? Is that maybe why she can't get it there? Maybe that's a thing? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I would imagine it's beefaroni, but it's not necessarily halal beef. It's just beef, right? I don't know. Is she boiling pasta? All right, we're gonna let blah, 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 blah. She's boiling pasta in a frying pan. What is this? This boil, and I'll be right back. All right, so I drained the noodles. They're a bit al dente because they're gonna cook more in the sauce. And you know how beefaroni has the noodles have that like little chew to them. I don't want my noodles to be too mushy, so. Um, we have some mints here. 
frying in butter. <laughs> I feel like Paula Deen. Minus the controversy. All right. Uh, actually, the controversy, you have the same controversy. I would say Paula Deen minus the cooking skills, but <laughs> whatever. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Let me just raise that a bit. Fry it up. So I'm going to let that brown a bit. Some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And I have some burger buns because I'm going to make some uh, garlic bread in the air fryer. Okay. We're going to let this get nice and brown. I don't want too big of chunks because that's just how I feel like having my mince today. Now this mince is, I think, I don't know the fat percentage on it. Maybe 10%, 15% fat. I'm not sure. But just by looking at what is she talking about? And yeah, yeah, hold on. Mint in beefaroni? What in the homemade hell is going on? What the fuck is the outfit? I know, I know, I know. Was this yesterday? I already forget. Hold on, I need to see. What the hell was she wearing yesterday? I cannot remember for the life of me. Was this all one day? Oh my God, she wasn't all black. No, 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 that's slanderous. Her top was blue yesterday. I take it back. <laughs> I'm like, maybe she got uh, hungry, a little bit, because she wanted another snack last night. Got the, the marbling on it. It's probably more like a a lean, but not an extra lean. <laughs> Between lean and medium. Okay. I'm going to also preheat my oven now, actually. The time on the... It's like 5 o'clock right now, okay, 5 p.m. The time on the clock is, do you expect me to have the right time on my on my stove? I'm a mess. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. Okay, we're going to bake this on. Okay, good to know. Interesting. I, don't, I also don't know how to fucking change the time on my stove, but so no judgment. I also don't know how to change the time on my thermostats. Nothing. Whatever. <laughs> Irrelevant. Um... So we can't judge the time by the time we see on the clock on her stove, but we can judge the, like the, the time it takes her, the time lapse, let's say like last night, we, we know it took her all those fucking hours to make that tiny ass little chicken because of, you know, the time we started and then time we ended, but it doesn't mean it's eight o'clock right now, you know, good to know. Uh, 400. Okay, just a little bit, maybe brown. I'm gonna put some cheese on it, so, okay. And, still browning. Okay, now we're gonna add some steak sauce. What is with her adding steak sauce to everything while it cooks? It's weird. Okay. Flavor of that beef a bit. Costanza, thank you for the super chat. You're not wrong. I'm also going to add some garlic and onion powder. A little more onion than garlic. You know what goes great with like mints or whatever when you're frying shit up like that? An actual uh, like onion and some actual garlic. The fucking powder. It, this takes me out. I know you guys have lectured me about uh, the garlic powder and the onion powder and stuff. Fine. Whatever. Maybe it has its place. But this is not its place. This is like just cut up a fucking onion. Oh, yeah. That smells nice. Gonna let it brown up, let some of the fat and oil evaporate. That's when you're gonna start seeing the beef browning more. And I'm gonna try to put more effort into these videos with editing angles once we're feeling a bit better. 
editing and angles. How about you chop a fucking onion? That would be the effort at this point. Come on. Lazy. Okay. What's your favorite chef word if you've ever had it? I think mine is beefaroni as a kid was one of mine. And ravioli with the little meatballs in it or whatever those little balls are made of. I don't know. <laughs> Nancy, thank you for the super chat girl. It's on medium high. So not all the fat will evaporate because I fried it in butter for extra flavor. Yum. Can you make some brown? We're in Brown Town. <laughs> All right. I think the beef is nice and brown. So I'm going to reduce the beef. About four. Okay, so far so boring. She could have edited out like most of what we just saw. All she did was brown up some fucking mincemeat. Who cares? Basic, boring. Just show us something else. We're going to add the noodles. We have our beefaroni noodles. And with clean hands, I'm just going to fall with the spoon, I guess. Guide the pasta into the pan. Nice and guided. There we go. Okay, let them get nice and, you know, this and that. Ooh, Auntie M, thank you for the super chat. That sounds delicious. Bon appetit. We're going to add our tomato pasta sauce. Okay. And... Gonna reduce that a bit more. We're also gonna add. Oh, it's not one of those weird flavors. <clears throat> what the shit is this? Some cream. Some. Uh oh, for the love of God. Okay, this isn't cooking. This is like basic cooking when you don't know how to cook. Every single thing that went into that frying pan came from like a package. Uh, nothing. You didn't You didn't chop anything. You didn't make anything yourself. Sauce, you know, pasta. What the fuck is this? You fried up some beef. This is, this. can you really call this a cooking video? You know, there used to be that cooking channel show with something like half half homemade or something something like that it was called at least there was some chopping on that this isn't even half homemade this is just open a bunch of packets a cooking cream okay we're gonna add our We're going to make it a creamy sauce. <laughs> like a rosé. <laughs> Some just flew out of the pan. Gonna add a little bit of water. Like half a cup or something. Quarter cup, more like it. What is this? Okay. Deglaze the bottom a little bit. I'm actually going to also put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. God, oh, I should have known. I'm like, oh, Parmesan. No, 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 no. She's going to sprinkle on some of those little wood chips in a thing. <sighs> this is cooking, y'all. This is this is the best she's got. And remember, this is only video number two. Her videos only get worse with time and lazier with time. If this is the beginning, what the hell are we going to be cooking in a week? I'd like to know. Will we even be bothering again, like, anymore in a week? I doubt it. Enzymes in the mango. Thank you again for the super chat. Okay, 
cho người kia rồi <cười> and then a little bit, just a pinch of sugar because the the recipe oh my god how much sugar that already in the can has that as well Yeah, that was a lot of sugar. A pinch of sugar? Ugh, man, ugh. Okay. Just give that a little stir around. <laughs> Patrick Duffy boy, I love it. Thank you for that. Taste this. Mmm. Yum. That's good. We're just going to put a little bit of cheese on top. Come on. Not too much. I'm not really feeling the cheese today. You already put in that shitty Parmesan. What do you mean you're not feeling the cheese? We're on to the second cheese of this dish, but I'm just not feeling the cheese today. Check this out. We're going to bake that for maybe 10 minutes or 15, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Yella. All right, you guys. Garlic bread's done. And now the food. Let me bring you guys for a close-up. Wow. Yum. That looks like beefaroni a bit, doesn't it, with cheese? <laughs> Yummy yum. I can't wait to dig in. Smells awesome. All right, guys. So that's my homemade beefaroni. Very simple. You know, easy. One pan. Because I only have one pan. <laughs> dinner. So if you want to see the mukbang part of this, I'm going to have dinner with you guys in the next video. Coming shortly. Oh, wait. I should probably plate it. Yeah. Ouch, it's hot. Ow. It's trying to kill me. And some garlic bread. Yikes. Blech. Okay, I mean, it's not my thing. I, I would say this looks better. If I had to eat yesterday's meal or today's meal, today's was touched less. I would probably have today's. Yuck. Either way. Boring, yes. Beige food, just same sh shit, same cheese melt, different day. Oh, my God, it's always the same with her. Nothing ever really changes, you know? And she would say, well, I'm cooking. And, like, people were still shitting on me. Like, is this really cooking? I don't know. I don't know. To each to decide for themselves, I suppose. Do you consider opening a bunch of packages and combining already made ingredients cooking or like assembling i don't know that's up to everyone to decide for themselves i'm not impressed i'm not impressed and here today she's going to do the same thing again where this video is split into two videos half is cooking and half is going to be the mukbang wow wow something to look forward to i suppose yikes queen red thank you for the super chat this angle has got, I think she's trying to show us less of the kitchen because the, the house, the kitchen sucks. Let's be real. And when she shows the kitchen, she gets criticized for the kitchen. So she found a way to show us only what needs to be shown. I think it's done on purpose. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ramsey would tell her to fuck off. Ramsey wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, for now, that's all. She hasn't uploaded the mukbang. So unfortunately, I suppose... <laughs> we're not going to be able to watch the mukbang for now. Uh, that's fair. We were crack at Olympic anyway. Get off of the screen, Chantal. It's your homemade chef, boy, RD. Enjoy. <laughs> Everything she eats is one color. That's a good point. Gail, you're right. Always that, that beige. Whatever. Bon appetit, Chantal. Enjoy your heartburn. I can't wait to see what beige food she'll make tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever. Listen. Tomorrow, we will pick up from the mukbang of this, the, the 
slop plate that she just cooked, okay? We'll watch her eat at slop plate tomorrow, plus whatever she gives us to work with tomorrow, all right? For now, this is it. We are caught up with Chantal in real time and caught up in uh, the crack at Olympic retelling to the place, I don't know, that I wanted to be for today. <laughs> so we will continue on with the, tell the retelling of the crack at Olympics in chronological order, of course. And, and <laughs> we will continue on with Chantopolis stuff real time. Jerry's Keeper, thank you for the super chat. None of her cheese has taste. How can your cheese has ta have taste when you have no taste? It's impossible. That's Chantal. Mm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It'd be wasted on her anyway. Her fucking taste buds are so blown out. She couldn't taste blue cheese at this point. I'm pretty sure. That's a Chantal problem. <laughs> Not my problem. Anyway, y'all, listen. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Uh, whatever you're doing with the rest of your days, enjoy. Have fun. Be safe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.